Hola y bienvenidos a Los Diarios de Gordon. This is another tip for the past tense. And the question is, ¿fue bien o fue bueno? ¿Fue bien o fue bueno? Okay. What's the difference? When do you use them? How do you know when you should say fue bien? And how do you know when it, you should say fue bueno? Watch and I'll see you in the next part. <coughs>
Now, in in the when you use estar bien, the bien then changes to an adjective. It's you're describing. He's he's fine, but really what you're saying, imagine, is he's in a state of fineness. So it's kind of an it's like describing the action of of his state. If you if you think about it that way, okay. So if you say fue bien, there is no option. It has to be. It went well. For example, ¿Qué tal te fue el concierto? Okay? ¿Qué tal fue el concierto? I will leave the T out. ¿Qué tal fue el concierto? Fue bien. That question is, how did the concert go? Not, how was the concert? How did it go? And the answer is, fue bien. It went well. Okay? That is never going to be, how was the, the concert? Okay? Because the question, if you wanted to say how was the concert, typically you would say, ¿Qué tal estuvo el concierto? Estuvo bien. So I'll give you a little tip. When somebody, a Spanish speaker says, ¿Qué tal estuvo? Your answer is always going to be the same verb, estuvo bien. You don't even need to change it because how was it? It was. So it's exactly the same. You just copy that verb. ¿Qué tal estuvo la fiesta? Estuvo bien. Okay? And then when they say, ¿Qué tal fue la fiesta? And often they'll put the, the pronoun, how did it go for you? ¿Qué tal te fue? You don't have to change that. You say, fue bien o me fue bien. Me fue muy bien. It went really well for me. Okay? So you just copy what the question is. So you don't really need to think too much about, oh, are they saying was or are they saying um, went? But just so you know, when they say, ¿Qué tal fue? How did it go? ¿Qué tal estuvo? How was it? And that's, they're the two questions. In that, how was it, they're, they're typically not going to use ser. When you use ser, what somebody wants or what you're trying to give is, is a characteristic exp explanation. You're going to talk about what kind of party it was. That's not what we're talking about. It's like, how was it and how did it go? These are, these are light questions. So that's why we say, ¿Qué tal estuvo? ¿Qué tal estuvo la fiesta? ¿Qué tal fue la fiesta? So that's, the answer is, fue bien. Okay, it went well. All right. Fue bueno. When would you use fue bueno? You use fue bueno when you are... Um, I suppose describing something or describing someone in a one-off type of a, a period. For example, if you said, um, ese, ese hombre fue muy bueno. Okay? Ese hombre fue muy bueno. What are you saying? He was, he was a good man. Now he's not. It's over. Remember, with the predator, it's over. So it, you, you're probably giving the impression that, that he's dead now. Yeah? But fue muy bueno. Okay, so that's when you would use that kind of... But you're describing what the person was. How he was a good person. Okay? But that's a very, very different kind of way of talking about somebody to how, you know, how was the party? Estuvo bien. So that's probably the more common way of saying it. Estuvo bien, fue muy bien. But it was good, it went well. Yeah? So be careful with that. Be careful with that. And when you see fue and bien, you know that there is only one option, which is went well. Okay? Went well. It cannot be was good. All right? Okay, so I hope that helps. Y nos vemos en la siguiente el siguiente diario hasta luego adiós